I am woman, I am black, I am Latine, I am queer, I am a physicist, I am neurodivergent, I am proud. My name is uh, Dr. Jessica Esquivel. I am a particle physicist working at a national laboratory called Fermilab. My job really does encapsulate a lot. I am a scientist on the muon G-2 experiment, and we study the motion of muons. I call them the plus size version of an electron. And what we do as experimental scientists is that we pay very, very special attention to how these muons are dancing. And if there's any discrepancy between what the choreography should be, which is the theoretical model that we have at hand, and what the choreography is, that discrepancy can potentially be new physics. I do a lot of advocacy work. A couple of the projects that I'm on include a Change Now Physics. And another project that I'm co-founder of is called Black in Physics. And that was created on the heels of the civil unrest in our country that was happening back in 2020. And really wanting to embrace that Black physicists do exist and that we are human. I also am an IFGAN ambassador through AAAS. They gave us an opportunity to really share our stories in a big way. And when I talk about how important representation is and seeing a diverse range of who a scientist is, that is embedded in the fabric of the, the ambassadorship. And they took that and they ran with it. I am not what you think a physicist should look like, and that's okay. That's what makes me who I am. Being in a field where women aren't represented, what that means to me is just that I think differently than my peers. And one of the things that underscores this thinking differently process is a patience that comes with what I say before I say it. It's something that I can't leave at home, right? It definitely tags along everywhere I go. And unfortunately, there's some negative thoughts and, and biases that come with that moniker. But again, with age comes this understanding, I guess. It is not my job to make you feel comfortable with me being in this space. <laughs> I was raised in a Mexican household. I didn't know my uh, biological father growing up. My sister is a light-skinned Mexicana, my mom light-skinned Mexicana, and the differences of experiences between myself and my family are underscored because of how I read to society, which is Black. For me, the Latinidad portion really does underscore this notion of we are an amalgamation of so many different parts and you can't really just line them up and create something. The physics that I look into, the queer physics, the quantum realm, everything is chaos and nothing's quite as what it's supposed to be. And I think that really does mirror the same journey that I am taking personally in trying to reconcile how I grew up, my blackness, my queerness, my womanhood, and how chaotic and crazy and difficult it is, just like the quantum physics that I look at. I got diagnosed with ADHD, depression, and anxiety two and a half years ago now. I'm now starting to move into the phase of recognizing some of those neurodivergent qualities as a reason why I'm good at my job, right? Living your authentic self and not trying to hide any aspect of who you are just opens up this 
box of power and confidence and of freedom. Science isn't done by old white folks anymore. It would be really cool to be like a grumpy old woman sitting on my rocking chair, being able to like scroll through God knows what social media will be at that point in time and just see the slew of black and brown and queer and neurodivergent and non-binary and gender fluid folks doing science.